Hello tech people. In this video, we are going to see how to make a Bluetooth gamepad with an ESP32. It works on Android phones as well as Windows computers. Let's get started. First, you will need an ESP32 board, any version that has Bluetooth. I am using an ESP32S dev board, a joystick module, and some push buttons and caps for them. Put the ESP32 on a breadboard. Put all the buttons and the joystick in place. We will be mapping the buttons like this, A, B, X and Y. We are using the internal pull-up resistors of the ESP32, so we are not using external resistors. Now, let's connect everything together. Connect the A button to GPIO 12. Connect the B button to GPIO 14. Connect the X button to GPIO 27. Connect the Y button to GPIO 26. Connect all the second pins of the buttons to ground. Next, for the joystick, connect the VRX to GPIO 15. Connect the VRY pin to GPIO 4. Connect the power pins respectively. Connections are also in a link in the description if you need them. Now, connect your board to your computer and download the code from the link in the description. Before we upload the code, we need to install the necessary libraries. Open the Library Manager. Search for ESP32BLE Gamepad. Install this library along with dependencies. Now your project is ready to upload. Once uploaded, turn on Bluetooth on your mobile phone. Connect to the Tech Talkies gamepad. Now, let's check if it is working using a testing app. The joystick is functional. The buttons are working. Now we can test inside a game. Everything works as expected. This project can also control the normal functions of your mobile phone. Let me know in the comments how you are going to use it. Since we might be using different boards or different joystick modules, let's take a closer look at the code and see how to troubleshoot some common problems. These are the pins we are using to connect the buttons. If you want to use more buttons, add them here. Make sure to use pins with internal pull-up. If you're changing the number of buttons, change the count here. If your X and Y axis is inverted, swap these pin numbers. Sometimes, only your X or Y axis gets inverted. In that case, change this value. Here, we have assigned the buttons that work with Android devices. For Windows, you might have to try different button mapping. Let me know if you tried it and comment if you have any other problems or questions. And as always, a like and subscribe would be amazing.